can transition for a week, you can transition for 10 minutes, you can transition for a year. There are lots of people who just don't want to cut off their relaxed hair. They just want to grow their natural hair and just let it just, you know, grow to the length of their relaxed hair, which is completely fine. You know, it's definitely worth a try. Although your natural hair and your relaxed hair where they meet will eventually crack they'll just snap because of the differences in, in texture. Um, your, your relaxed hair is going to be weaker than your natural hair, and it's just gonna be that, you know, you just need to chop it off eventually. Also, um, not everybody gets this, but um, there is a term called scab hair, which means that the hair that is going to start um, that you're going to grow that you are not going to relax the new growth um, over a period of time will be will be in a shock state shade of state of shock excuse me and that means that it's going to be um coarse it, it's hard to 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 comb through it has no definition it's crunchy and and it's just it's in a state of shock and that is a point you'll it's a point that you'll you'll see. I mean, some people get it, some people don't. I know that I had it. So I expected my hair not to have any curl definition. My scab hair was cottony, it was scaly, it was bad. Like it was just so crunchy and my hair was so dry, like ridiculously dry, like I couldn't change it dry. And then eventually I noticed one day that there was like a little coil and then this like really crazy hair and I and I eventually started to cut because I was like oh I think I like that little coily part a little better it looked like it was maintaining a little better and it looked healthier and not as you know just funky so some people have scab hair some people don't but it is that point where your hair is still in that shock of from from the chemicals in it so keep that in mind I, I honestly don't know how people can judge their hair depending on how long they transition i don't know how people can tell what their hair texture is going to be like because it took maybe three to four months for my scab hair phase to phase out and then my actual texture to kick in so i mean i don't know some people on the relaxed boards will say you know they're 4a and they know they're 4a from like that first little bit of new growth that they get every you know six or eight weeks or 10 weeks or 12 weeks or whatever I don't know some people can I couldn't so I'm not judging anybody that does it I just don't see I couldn't I couldn't have done it it just wouldn't have worked for me so just throwing that out there okay so uh, how long oh I talked about how long you transition um textures there are tons of different textures out there and there are guides to figuring out your texture at the end of the day it is not something that you have to like have a heart attack over um, if your hair texture is um, curly then that's great if it's no texture at all that's great you know don't just don't I just I, I just want to always say don't come out expecting anything just take what you get and what happens over time and just embrace it and work with it um, there are a lot of times where you're not gonna have the same texture all over I have never had the same texture all over so there would be coily things in a lot of places and in the back there would be a little bigger of curls I mean and that was just what it was and that was it you got to embrace um, the texture that you get some people are not gonna have curl definition at all your hair is not going to make any shape it's just going to be there and that's all well and good you can do the same things that everybody else with natural hair can do um, you just gotta learn and and play with it and experiment over time and it, it really will be an awesome adventure I love my natural hair adventure um, so yeah shrinkage shrinkage is something that just understand from this point um, shrinkage is a lot of our enemies shrinkage is, is when your hair looks like it's one length and then when you stretch it it's another so um, I'll give you an example I'm locking my hair now I was natural for two years I transitioned for about a year this lock here 
it's just um, sitting. This is just where it, it stops here. And it looks, that's just face value. But when I stretch it out, my hair is down here. And that's the same way with your fro. Sometimes, you know, when you wash it and you leave it, it'll be like, you know, it can be right here or it can be all the way down here. Then when you pull the strands, you realize it's really longer than what it is. And there are many different ways of, of playing with that. I think the, the best thing to do is, you know, um, washing it and then um, throwing in your leave-in conditioner or whatever products that you want to use. And then um, either throwing in chunky plaits, chunky twists, things like that. They're definitely going to give you... Um, more stretch to your hair and it's going to elongate the hair and that's also great if you want to have like a consistent texture or look with your hair go ahead and twist it and take it out that's a twist out or you know braid your hair plait it and leave it in overnight and then take it out depending on the smaller the twist or the braid the tighter the definition will be and then if you make it thicker it's just going to give you a bigger chunkier effect and those are great um styles for um for ease i mean they're great because they give you so many options later i mean you can definitely wear your hair twisted or plaited for however long i never really did that too much um, until the end of my journey where i actually just would do micro twists or very small twists and wear them kind of like this and then do my thing like that which i wasn't really fond of natural hairstyles and then i eventually just embraced them and it was cool like I was like this is, this is kind of cool so my whole goal which I said in thousands of other videos was to press my hair and wear it natural I didn't want to put any more chemicals in it because my hair was breaking like crazy from the relaxers but I wanted to wear my hair pressed or flat ironed 24 7 and one thing I had to realize is that heat is not your friend when you're natural when you have natural hair and you throw a hot sizzling hot comb or curling iron or flat iron in your hair and you don't take the right precautionary measures or even if you do you never you never know so many people say oh, I'm going to a stylist to get you know my hair straightened and you know it's gonna come out great some people can handle it some people's hair can handle it some people's hair can't the only way you're gonna find out is doing it and sometimes it's gonna be too late because if you straighten your hair and it does not revert back to its Coil, you know it's it's natural state like it's tighter state you're gonna have to cut it off it's it sometimes what happens is you, it's heat damage and what it does is it permanently straightens your texture and then you're gonna look like you have relaxed ends again so I might have pressed my hair twice I went to the Dominican salon once and I only had a bit of heat damage which was right in the back of my hair and I got lucky, but I can't tell you how many hundreds of stories I have heard about people relax, I mean, um, you know, straightening their hair and it never reverting back. And you can throw all the chemical, I mean, the products that you want in it. You can use all the pomades and the greases and the oils and the straightening serum that you want, but you're not going to know until you try it and it could be too late. So if you're going to do it, use discretion. If you're going to, if you want to try it, a lot of people use, like, um, I've heard a lot of people using maxi glides or using their flat iron to the lowest setting that they can to straighten it. So it might not be bone straight, but you just just proceed with caution. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so, and please, if you're a natural or transitioning, list your experiences or your questions and other naturals or, or former naturals or transitioners, please leave your comments. Let people know what you feel. Um, it's it's definitely good to, to go ahead and, and collab on that. Um, also, people ask, you know, they say about their big chop. Do you have to go, um, how do you do a big chop? I cut my hair off as I went. I would cut off like an inch of relaxed ends, and then I would put braids in my hair for two months. And then I would take those out, and I would look at the difference, and then I would cut off another inch and then do it again. Some people will just cut it right off. Some people go to a barber. I didn't go to a barber. I didn't see any point in going to somebody that was just going to cut off the relaxed part. And even at the end of the day, some of us have scab hair and that hair that's left, you're going to grow that out anyway and do it, let it do its own thing. So transitioning is an amazing stage. You got to look at forms. You got to make friends. 
view YouTube, there are a million and billion natural people out there. Look at um, people's, uh, you know, pages and let them inspire you. Let, you know, let that hair, you know, give you strength. But whatever you do, don't feel dependent on those people's success with their hair or, um, you know, their failure. Well, not necessarily failure, but, you know, don't, don't assume that because one person's hair looks that way, your hair can look that way too. It may or may not. Your hair is going to do its own thing. And you just got to give it time. You just got to give it time and learn with your experiences you know network search do your research it makes a difference do your research if you ever have a question about your hair google it see what comes up you know it's just you got to make it work you know um as far as products go you got to keep trying things sometimes um people can use the same products they use as a natural i mean as a relaxed or texturized individual some people can't for me i switched over eventually i found out that natural all natural products work better for my hair so i switched over to products that were all natural many organic many vegan so it made a big big difference but i hope this helps somehow it was just me vibing with y'all just shooting stuff off the top of your head my head and feel free to leave any comments or questions that you need to good luck on your journey